It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Hey there, welcome back to Tourist Tuesday and Merry Christmas. This will be our last Tourist Tuesday of 2023. I'm taking a couple weeks off for Christmas break and we'll start back with new episodes in January of 2024. Um, to get us in the Christmas spirit, I thought I would share a local site that is just really unexpectedly cool that if you get a chance, you need to go see it. Um, but that is the Brown Mansion Candlelight Christmas Tour. Uh, Mr. Allen and I got to check this out this weekend, and it is just amazing. We had visited the Brown Mansion for a regular tour a few summers ago, but we did we did not expect all the decorations, all the beautiful, gorgeous Christmas decorations. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about the Brown Mansion today, as well as the Christmas tour. Let's go check it out. The Brown Mansion, located right on Highway 169 in Coffeville, is a grand old home that stands high up on a hill and is one that I had driven by my entire life and had never visited until the summer of 2021. It's a gorgeous old home, and the inside is unbelievable. Here's a little history on the home. W.P. Brown, a businessman, moved to Coffeville in 1890 from Ohio with his family. Brown started a lumber company, then gained his wealth by discovering one of the largest natural gas wells in the country. The three-story, 16-room mansion was completed in 1904 with a price tag of $125,000. His daughter, Violet, later inherited the home and eventually donated it to the Coffeville Historical Society when she moved to a nursing home. The main floor of the home includes a living room, parlor, music room, library, conservatory, dining room, billiard room, entry area, kitchen, and a maid's quarters. The second floor consists of five bedrooms and three full bathrooms. The entire third floor is a ballroom which not only served as a place for fancy parties, but also served as a schoolroom and gymnasium for Brown's son. At Christmas time, the mansion hosts candlelit tours featuring 150 plus Christmas trees throughout the home. The ballroom on the third floor is filled with trees decorated by local businesses and organizations. And each room is decorated for the season, even the bathrooms. You still have an opportunity to check out this amazing home and take the Christmas tour uh, next Friday evening, the 22nd, and Saturday evening, the 23rd. If you don't get a chance to check out the Christmas tours, do check out a regular tour starting in March. It's an amazing old home. I encourage you to check it out. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.